Hello everyone and welcome to my new video. In this video, we'll be looking at uh, the new AI from Adobe, which is Generative Fill. So let's get started. So for Generative Fill, you need to have Adobe Photoshop beta version. If you have the Creative Cloud subscription, you can go all the way to the beta apps over here not the normal apps these are your normal apps you can see the photoshop is updated which is the current status of the photoshop if you go all over to the beta apps you can see the photoshop beta is being installed uh, this beta is in work and there are several updates so it's keep updating unless the final release so you can only have generative fill in your beta app itself so let me show you how it works here i am in my adobe photoshop beta you can see the beta version over here I have just opened a new document by going over to the home and clicking on new document over here. If you want to create a scene from generative fill, you can you need to select the portion all the whole canvas and then you have to click the generative and then you have to enter the prompt uh, as per your desire. But that prompt has to be in English only. So if you don't see the generative fill bar over here, like you need to select first, like I go for the whole scene over here, the whole canvas, and then you can see the generative fill bar over here so this you can access this will automatically pop up when you select something uh, on the canvas or the part of a canvas or you can go all the way to edit and you can see the generative fill over here or if your bar is not visible you can go all the way to windows and then you can see your contextual task bar over here if i click this it will go away if i want to bring it back there you go so I have just selected my canvas over here. I'm on layer one and let's see, click on this one and it says it describes what you like to generate or feel free to leave this blank. If you want to remove something from the picture, uh, just select and leave it blank and click uh, generative, generative fill and uh, it will remove that part or it will fill something with uh, the perspective as per the picture is. So let me give an example over here. Let's say that uh, I want a scene Let's say landscape view, see a uh, site and uh, uh, cloudy atmosphere. So I think that is enough for the starter and click generative fill, give it a time, it will generate and uh, you can have this online only and you need to get the adobe photoshop beta version from the cloud creative cloud subscription so here you can see the cloudy version and it's a landscape it, uh, and over on your right you can see the variations for example if you want to put something in the sea like uh, so i'll click my lasso tool and click a portion over here select the portion over here click generative fill and put say boat in the sea or just uh, mention boat with the prompt something which has to be more uh, understandable there you go the boat is not properly aligned but if you can this one looks good and this one looks good too so if you zoom you can see the shadows i think this one is the good one or you can click again and it will give you three more variations all the variations you can use the old variations also just wait for this one it depends upon the amount of selection you have made there you go you have another boat over here and you got uh, uh, this looks good if you zoom out you can see the whole scene over here so let me give you another example over here uh, which i have already generated like i like to show you this is the original image which i downloaded from pixel.com or pixelway.com whatever website suits you and uh, over here i have generated i have generated uh, the top which is which is called tank top if you click on the generative layer pair, you can have several variations over here the first one was this and you can see how it's properly aligned as per her arms, the neck, 
and even underneath the hairs also so if you click on different variations sometime it goes over the edge like i'll show you because it's still in beta version like over hands over here which i which the hand is not required like the original image if you see the original image there is no hand over here but if you go for gender fill version this was and over the top you can see the hand is already mentioned over here you can see the hand over here which is which look like some alien version of the hand of a girl itself so uh, better stick to the more realistic one like uh, I go for this one tank top over here and then there is several variations you can see the body variations also uh, change with the tank top and here you can see some extra stuff which you have mentioned like tank top heavy so here you go this looks more realistic and this one's too so if you want to change the hair all you need to do is you need to select the hair portion of it you can do it by lasso tool or you can go for a quick selection and i did it already for the sake of the video to make it short so here you can go i just mentioned over here if you click on the gentle layer you can see the blonde hair version over here and here you can see the other variations it has very nicely did the hair stuff which is one of the most difficult part when you uh, cut out the image or the subject from the background yeah, especially for the hair parts where there are curly hairs and when there are strays of hairs all the way around so if you click on generate again it will give you three more variations and you can select uh, any of them as per your need or as per your requirement these are three more variations if you want to change the hair color like blonde hair uh, short let's give it a try maybe so maybe it doesn't work this time it's just sticking to the same variations by changing color and uh, you can see some of uh, uh, the variations even in the hair itself so this this was the one which uh, where you can change uh, some uh, parts of the subject now let's move to another uh, this is the original image so you can see over here it's a blank room and uh, the ladder on your left so if you want to put something over here like say this room has been renovated and you can see the paint parts over on the ladder so let's uh, bring some paint buckets on the floor so if you click the paint buckets and you can see the shadow on the wall so if you can if you select the other variations this looks real and this looks good also uh, likewise uh, it doesn't go with the image uh, this also look fakes and uh, this also look fake and this also look fakes. or maybe i'll go for this one so you can see the shadows are perfectly aligned along with the wall and this is the power of a generated fill. I have generated this image with some of the heavy prompt over here. You can see a village scene. If you want to separate something, you can put a comma and it has to be pure in English, a simple English. Uh, a village scene, a cloudy sky. You can see uh, there's some cloudy sky and a sunset descent behind the mountain. And then you can see green trees in the background where you can see the green trees over here. Uh, and just mention real image. So there are different variations you can see over here. The cloudy sky so i got six variations with the animal itself but the animals are not perfectly grand so i rather go for this one moving on you can see this room uh, this room was also empty where i have did some heavy lifting over here you can see that uh, in this image the this was the original image which i downloaded from the free stock Im uh, image website and if you go for the first generative fill version you can see i have generated a mirror over here which is mirror on the wall uh, it have perfectly aligned along with the wall itself the dimension of the walls and then i did uh, for a frame itself uh, you can see the small shadow on the frame uh, there are several variations where you can but this one looks perfect on the wall then uh, i generated a sofa which you can see a big couch or you can I'll go for the middle one that's fine you uh, it's perfectly aligned and even you can see some shades of this uh, couch itself over here so let's go for another one 
and uh, uh, what I have generated uh, it's a wooden cover so there are different variations the one which I like the most uh, is this one or maybe this one so you can do anything with gentrify so let's create a new image a new canvas 1920 1080 and uh, leave it on 300 resolutions white back uh, make it uh, white is uh, transparent is fine my suggestion as per the generative fill how it works like uh, i like to select the whole portion of uh, the canvas itself and then i generate an image which is in my mind and then you can tweak around by selecting each portion of uh, the image itself is another way where you can select a portion of uh, the canvas and you can generate a part of it then you need to select again the some portion some part of the portion of generated image and the generative fill works uh, as per the image itself it's blend perfectly but uh, my intention is to select the whole canvas and generate an image like uh, a city traffic scene Let's go for the simple one. Let's see that uh, it make mistakes because it's in the beta form right now. And uh, that's we have to bear it unless uh, the final version comes out. Uh, okay, so here the bus is not good or this is a bus or a car which has been stretched. And over here you can see a jumble of any uh, traffic and the cars are perfect. They are not perfect at all. The city is fine. Let's go for another one. And here you can see that it's a busy street but whatever there is it's just, is it a transformer or what and uh, even the cars are not perfectly nine and uh, okay let's fantasize some let's create to a village or make a house of mushrooms with grass in front and trees in the background you can mention realistic image generate give it a shot and just wait oh Okay, looks like uh, something good, but uh, all I ask for a house of mushrooms. So this one is good. This one is good. And uh, let's see. Let's generate again. Okay. Uh, this looks good. This looks much better. Or uh, let's change the problem. A uh, red mushroom house in a fantasy world. This looks good. This is good. I like this one. And let's see another one. No, I like this one. So if you want something like, uh, let's say, uh, let's select with lasso tool and select this portion and put uh, our lady bug. All this image is based on fantasy, so whatever comes in your mind, you can. Uh, a ladybug, okay. This one is good. Uh, this one is good. Let's generate again. Let's see that if we have any other variations. Mm, this looks. Uh, I think I'll go for this one. This one looks good. Or if you want, you can just remove it also from the image itself. Or let's give it one more try. Uh, Let's select the background and put some trees in the background. Let's see if this uh, if generative fill can do something with this difficult parts over here there are trees but let's see that if we can put something more okay so it doesn't work um, yeah it doesn't work so sometime it does like this so better remove this one 
um, this this is uh, this is the final image you can frame this if you want but uh, i like this image one so that was generative fill uh, from adobe photoshop beta version and uh, likewise i said that you, you need to get the creative cloud subscription if you want to download adobe photoshop beta version to use generative fill so if this works totally online so if you need the actual subscription all you need to do is that download the creative cloud app and after the subscription or go all the way to the beta apps where you can see all the beta applications so for me photoshop is already installed so you need to install it and then you are good to go do not confuse this with the regular photoshop versions which keep on updating if you can see on my taskbar over here you can see the adobe photoshop it is 2023 version and there you can see the beta version so beta version keep on updating so it have this white uh, icon as compared to the original one so this was generative fill from adobe photoshop beta if you find my video informative share it with your friends give me a thumbs up and the like button subscribe to my channel thank you and bye bye